Arsenal reported £52.1 million in losses in their 2022-23 accounts, with Nicolas Pepe's dramatic decline in value contributing. The Gunners' latest financial accounts for the year ending May 31, 2023 show that, impairment write-downs on certain player registrations, amounted to £18. One metre, that figure is believed to largely relate to former North London flop Pepe, having joined from Lille as the club's then record signing for £72 million in 2019 on a five-year deal. After several mediocre years, scoring 27 goals in 112 games, the Ivory Coast international had his contract ripped up last September before moving to Turkish side Trabzonspor. Pepe also spent last campaign on loan at French outfit OGC Nice. The total cost of Pepe's Emirates tenure is thought to have cost Arsenal more than £100 million, including his transfer fee and wages. It was previously reported that Nicolas Pepe earned £140,000 a week while at Arsenal. Excluding the Pepe fees, Arsenal made a loss before tax of £34 million last season, down from a loss of £45. £5 million the previous year. Football revenues for the year rose to £464.6 million, up from £369. one million in the 2021-22 season this improvement was due to their return to europa league football and their excellent campaign in the premier league in which they finished second most read in football grill pain emotional jack Grealish breaks down and is consoled on bench after latest injury cup tied blackburn versus newcastle fa cup clash delayed as lineker makes statement on bbc fer get it distraught man united fans cry well we're out fa cup after triple injury blow off the mark 10 hag rashford barely speaking as man united fear relationship beyond repair best free bet sign up offers for uk bookmakers the improvement in revenue saw arsenal spend big this summer splashing 105 million pounds to bring declan rice to the emirates from west ham The Gunners also signed Kai Havertz for £65 million from Chelsea and Jurian Timber from Ajax for up to £40 million. Arsenal star Jorginho looks very awkward after fiancé's comment about how they met on Married to the Game their loan deal for David Rea also has an option to buy this summer. Boss Mikel Arteta is hopeful that next year's accounts will show further progress as he bids to bolster his squad, especially if they reach the latter stages of the Champions League. Arsenal must overcome a 1-0 deficit in the last 16 in next month's second leg at home to Porto. Arsenal News Live, stay up to date with all the latest transfer news from the Emirates.